Hi, Lisa here from the Dirac Live team. I'm going to present to you our new smartphone application, Dirac Live, and take you through a regular workflow for how to optimize the sound in your room. After installing the software, open the app and make sure that you're connected to the same network as the AVR. You will also need to be connected to the internet for licensing purposes. If you have an account with us, you can log in at the very first screen or choose to continue without logging in. If you later on would like to restore any projects that you've been working on, we advise you to use your account, otherwise this may not be possible. The application will scan your network for compatible Hi-Fi devices. This list can be refreshed by pulling it down. Select your device and next you will select listening arrangement for which you want to calibrate. The chair represents a more confined area where you measure nine positions in total, whereas the sofa setting represents a wider setting for one or more persons where you measure 17 positions in total. First, you need to make sure that the included microphone is connected to your sound system. Now you will set the level for the volume calibration. For the mobile app, we only use channel 0 to do the calibration and we'll assume that this value is reasonable for the complete system. For more detailed control over the volume calibration process, we also have a desktop version. Hold the microphone completely still and when you start measuring, a sweep sound will be played through each speaker. Repeat until you have measured all points for the selected setting. Now you can proceed to the filter design step. The generated filter is the basic correction settings intended to make the sound image in your room as even as possible. You can also adjust the target curve according to your preferences. For example, if you would like more bass, you can adjust the target curve in the lower frequency region. Colored dots represent speakers in a group. Clicking will bring up which speakers are included in that group. The initial grouping is a suggestion, but the speakers can be moved into and out of groups according to preference. To adjust the target curve, pull any point on the curve. If you're unsure, Try the default suggestion and listen to the result. Let's press calculate and see that this is now ready for export to your AVR. But first, the little half circle on the right here is the snapshot function. Long click and pull to create a snapshot of the current state. If I then make a change but want to revert to an earlier curve, I press this snapshot function again and pull back to the point I want selected. We also have the impulse response view where you can zoom in and out for inspection. In the upper left corner, there's a menu for saving projects and target curves to be retrieved later. I am now happy with my filter and want to export to my AVR. Press Export Filter, select the slot and add a name. Once the filter has been transferred to the device, you can manage and select between the three available slots. Now, sit back and experience the sound as the artist intended. Mm -hmm.